Nyanga residents say the high level of crime makes living here a nightmare. Many are too scared to have their identities revealed, fearing they'll be killed by criminals. They accused police of not doing enough to keep them safe. Police are people who are supposed to protect us, even when we cry out and call them for help, but they take forever to respond. The local community policing forum has asked parliament to help. We needed to escalate uh, the, the concerns from the community to the lawmakers because we've held uh, about two engagements with the provincial management of SAPS around the issue that Nyanga police station needs serious reinforcement in order for the police station to be able to do its proper uh, work. There's also been an investigation into policing in another troubled township, Kailicha. A commission of inquiry released its findings on Monday, saying policing in Kailicha is in shambles. Now the parliamentary committee is demanding answers from provincial police commissioner Arno Lamu about policing in Nyanga. It's quite clear that that matter must be further um, interrogated, whether there are enough staff to deal with a vast population in the area. Also the high levels of crime is of course a serious cause of concern. And we must also look at the capability from the police side in terms of crime intelligence, whether there is enough staff available to assist the various task teams in the area. And then further, um, whether the leadership in the station is, is capable to deal with the challenges. Lamour has been given two weeks to report back to Parliament. Atim Tongana, Nyanga in Cape Town. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.